Hi guys, Ryu here with another Blender tutorial. In this one I want to show you how to set up box cutter and hard ops add-ons in a fresh Blender. And I'll show you which settings I use to optimize these add-ons for my hard surface workflow. So first of all, let's get rid of this splash screen and let's close this a timeline here, press A, X and delete all that junk. Then I'm going to go to preferences and increase the scale just a bit because it's way too small. Uh, by the way, I'm going to make a separate video on how am I setting my blender in general, um, including other add-ons, but that's going to be a separate video. This one is only about hard ops and box cutter. Now, before I install hard ops and box cutter, I want to install um two things one of them is screencast keys that's one and two is going to be machine tools and machine tools is a fantastic add-on and it's free I, I can't believe it's free but it is free so i want to get it in because it's much easier for me to switch <coughs> um between modes and etc anyway so let's grab um hard ops latest version click installed wait a bit click on the box wait a bit be patient then go to box cutter install wait a sec click on the box wait a sec and then remove that save preferences and we're done go to screencast keys here turn it on make it a little bit bigger so you can see hope it's big enough Okay, and let me see if my my uh, my pies are working. Perfect. See, this is this is a, one of the pies from uh, Machine Tools, which is fantastic. There's another one here, so I can switch between views really quickly. I I hate the default blender stuff; just I can't stand it. Anyway, box cutter. So hard ups, um, hard ups. I don't really. Too much I just leave it as is but uh, box cutter I actually introduce a few settings a uh, few changes and I, I set a few things up so if you go to preferences here and by the way you can um, activate box cutter by pressing alt V or simply clicking on the icon here and then you switch with alt V between box cutter and hard ops and press V if you want to get rid of I mean get out of the box cutter and hard ops mode so Let's go here and uh, go to preferences and go to the settings. And the first thing I want to do is turn on solidify and weld modifiers to be sorted in the modifier stack. So when you press uh, control tilde and you go to modifier stack, in here you're going to have a list of modifiers. And if you enable those two here in the stack in the sort modifiers uh, option, um, hard ups will sort automatically all these modifiers for you. Then active only is the next thing I'm going to turn on. And what active only does, that's a really, really cool thing. I don't think many people are using it, but I think it's extremely powerful. So let's say I wanted to align my cards to a different angle. And I can do that by turning that function on. So if I press on this cube and hold shift and click on this cube, now I can align my cards to this cube, the small cube rotation. And you see, it doesn't matter what I do, they go into a line to that cube. Now, if you, uh, there's another option in here, which I really, really used to like. I don't really need it that much now because now, you know, hard ups, uh, box cutter has all those fancy rotations and scaling and moving and buying your presents for Christmas, just freaking amazing. So now I don't really need it, but what show shape was doing, it was enabling you to see the latest cut wireframe, uh, which disappears if you perform a second cut, which is extremely helpful if you want to modify that, uh, that boolean. So for instance, if I wanted to, you know, bevel it, I mean, bevel just one edge or I don't know, introduce a loop and sort of bevel it. And then let's say, you know, um, do a cut like this, right? I could do this with a show shape. And if I went to, uh, 
perform a cut, you see this one will disappear. However, a show shape will not work well with active only. It will work only once. So if I cut it, see, next cut will not be aligned. I will need to reselect those cubes again to make it work. Jerry, if you work in this and you guys can figure it out how to fix it, it would be amazing. But at the moment, uh, you know, it works, but you really need to reselect it every single time. But again, show shape is not that important at the moment. I mean, it's still useful. I like it, but it's not as crucial as it used to be. So, you know, I just have active only on and I'm happy. The next thing you want to go and enable is um, this one right mouse uh, button to cancel end gun now if you start drawing end guns in here right the only way to you know you could you could press you could keep pressing um, backspace to remove the end gun however if i enable this function in box cutter i can just cancel it with a single right click so it's very easy to you know redraw an end gun just takes few seconds which is fantastic and i love it then preserve alt this is also a very interesting function i don't think many people know about it so let's draw a new cube in here and go to um well let's draw just a you know just a box okay if i draw a box and press v twice we're gonna go to the radial array but you can see that this array is kind of strange uh, because it doesn't array really um, from the middle of the boolean cut sort of um, you know uh, origin point see that is kind of like a misaligned however if you draw this cut and you hold alt let's make it smaller one and then press V twice, you can see that the alignment is completely different. So that's a really cool function. Um, and I like to have it on. Another thing that I don't understand why it isn't on by default, and I think it was by default some time ago in previous versions of Box Cutter, but for some reason it isn't anymore. I don't know if they forgot about it or just <clears throat> it is off for some specific reason, but um, this function here, um, scroll adjust circle, when you draw a circle, right, and you scroll your mouse wheel, you can see here in the bottom left corner, left bottom corner of the screen, the when I scroll my mouse, the number of verts in a circle is changing, and this is extremely powerful. So if you draw a small circle, you don't need 100 verts in it, right? You know, you can get used with like 20. But when you draw a bigger one, you want it to be more smooth. So you want more verts. So, you know, being able to make um, change it on the fly is extremely useful. So I really think this should be on by default. But that's just my thinking. So that's about it in this menu. There's one more thing I want to change. Other increments of the grid snapping um, faces. So by default, um, if I turn this snapping on here, you see that the grid faces are quite large. If I change it to 0 0.1, no, maybe that's not 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. The faces are a bit smaller and this allows me for much more precise drawing of shapes especially when i'm dealing with end guns right you can you know draw much more refined shapes that way so i like this function to be uh, i mean this amount here to be switched to it to change to something smaller this magnet we can turn it off because we don't need it and that's about it um i think there's um if you change the settings for modifiers in box cutter, they will automatically change uh, for hard ups. If I go to control tilde menu, you can see that they automatically update it. 
If you are updating to a new box cutter or hard ups, um, you can do it from the from within the add on add on menu in Blender. So if you go to box cutter, you can click on remove, then install a new version, and then you go to hard ups, and then you click here, remove, and you install and save preferences. Sometimes it will not work. And you will need to purge the Blender. What I mean by purging Blender, I mean re uh, uninstalling Blender from your computer and then going to your um, C Drive user's name, update and roaming, Blender Foundation, Blender folder and removing um, folder with config. So basically purging the whole folder for, for example, 282 or 283, whatever Blender version you're using. Then you reinstall Blender from scratch and then you install all the add-ons. But most of the time, uh, when the box cutter and hard ups update, um, it's fine to just go here and, you know, remove the old version and install a new one and then you're good to go. Anyways, that's it from me guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Talk to you next time.